What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Smoothies and Doobies, where I take you on all my EDM adventures. My name is Johnny Starcy, and today we are going to be making a totem. Oh, super excited, because I'm going to be giving it away at the end of the month, and if it goes really well, I'll probably do something like this like once a month or once or every other month. Um, I've made a bunch of totem poles before, but I've never done this one. I've had this idea for a while. I'm going to be doing a cloud totem. And I've already done it like 20 times in my head, so I know it's gonna come up perfectly. All right, so here's what you're gonna need, okay? You're gonna need a medium-sized foam football. I picked this up in five and below, and it was like $3. Um, you are also going to need um, stem wire. This is the wire that they use to hold up like stems for freaking flowers uh, in a flower shop. I got this at Michael's. I think it was only like another $3. Uh, crazy glue or gorilla glue. Now, any kind of glue will work, but I like it sticky, so we're gonna use gorilla glue. Um, <laughs> that was dirty. Um, and then you're also going to need uh, a small PVC pipe. This is probably about two inches, and then also a coupler for it, which is just the top that goes on it so you can connect multiple PVC pipes together. Um, you're also gonna need L wire, or not oh, not L wire, fairy lights. These are fairy lights, not L wire. Um, I grabbed these off of Amazon. This is probably the most expensive part of the totem, but it also is gonna make it the coolest. Uh, these were $11 on Amazon, and I would recommend that you get one with a remote so that you don't have to mess around too much with the totem and you can kind of control all, all of its functions without really having to tamper with it. And then you'll also need scissors because we're going to be cutting this stem wire. Mm -hmm. All right, and also, most important part of the cloud is the actual cloud. This is fiber fill, it's polyester. Um, I wanted to do cotton, but then I didn't want to do cotton. <laughs> Um, but this was only like uh, five or ten bucks in at Michael's as well. So so far, let's see, we got three, three, five, eleven, um, eleven, twenty-two. So we're looking at like a thirty-dollar totem, which I think is pretty reasonable for a totem. Um, okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you're gonna take your two inch PVC pipe, okay? You don't need the coupler right now. You're gonna take your two inch PVC pipe and you're going to um, draw a circle around. You're gonna put your the PVC pipe like right in the middle of the football, okay? Because this is gonna act as a stand for it. I have to ship this to somebody, so I don't wanna like connect it to a really big, um, I don't wanna connect it to a really big pole. I've never shipped something that big. But if you're just making this um, totem, and obviously if it's for yourself, you can. You don't even really need the coupler, you can just kind of stick up really, not nah, you need the coupler, you need the freaking coupler, okay. So, okay, and that's just so, we're just gonna draw the circle first and this is just so we know that that's where our PVC pipe is gonna go, okay? Next, Next thing we're gonna, Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wire and we're gonna cut it into threes. Um, obviously, we're gonna wanna try to get this as even as possible. So a ruler would probably help, but what I'm not gonna do is that. Okay, so we took all of our wire and we cut it down to about this size. Probably about two and a half inches. Okay. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking each one of these things and you're gonna to wanna to stick them in various places um, if, as evenly as possible, but all around the football. So this is gonna kinda of look like Pinhead. Uh, he's got all the spikes like sticking out, okay? And as I go sticking each thing into the football, I'm gonna dip it in the glue, just to put this as like a reinforcement, you know? Okay, it's a, I mean, it's fun. I got the foam football cooking. And we're probably gonna leave about an inch and a half like hanging out. And this is gonna be, I'm gonna do this all around the football. So here we go. Once you've, 
once you feel like you have like a nice even coat like around it, I mean a nice even coat, a nice even line, you know, like you got the sticks and you think you've got a decent amount of the football covered, you know, now you can just go in and we're unevenly fill in the spaces, you know. We want there to be space, but we don't want there to be too much space. We are gonna take our wire, unwrap it. definitely just turn your lights on and make sure that you've got a nice even kind of glow around them okay don't worry about anything being loose but what you can do is the spikes you want to get them kind of like on an even level as far as how much they're sticking out of the football so i would just trim Even thing going on, boy. This is good. <laughs> it's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Damn, this is actually a lot of. I didn't expect all that to come out of this. <laughs> what the shit, dude? This is a, what is this? This is crazy. Okay, so next, what we're gonna do is. I like got this gorilla glue that had like a brush on it because I felt like it'd be dope um, and easier to work with. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put some glue on the base of the football. Don't I wouldn't I wouldn't just like immediately cover it all with glue because then your sides will be drying that you're not actually using. And literally you're just gonna start putting the cloud material on the crazy glue. And you're gonna wanna get a nice even coat around it. Ring, ring goes the telephone. There's no one home. Ring, ring goes the telephone. There's no one home. There's no one home. There's no one home. All right, so. Put all the cotton on. Um, I ended up running out of crazy glue, but um, so I used just regular Gorilla Glue. That's not crazy glue, but um, we're letting it dry right now, and we're gonna add more cotton whenever it does finally dry. So I wanted to show you how I did this. Um, how I'm putting in this attachment. Whoa, this attachment piece, okay, here it is. So I wanted to show you guys how I'm putting this attachment piece in, which is going to go inside of the football, and then this piece right here is actually gonna connect onto the totem pole. So all I pretty much did, a little janky, but um, I just took a knife, and the hole that I traced at the beginning of the video, um, I just pretty much cut a circle around that, and I just started digging the foam's out. Now, we're gonna end up putting crazy glue or um, Gorilla Glue in here. So the thing is really not gonna move, but you still don't wanna make the hole that loose. You wanna try to get it as tight as possible. Alrighty, y'all. So, I got the, ah, I got the stick and the pole and the football. It's pretty much not going anywhere. There's a little bit of the stick still sticking out. And luckily I have like something that it fits like perfectly in so I can hold it. Still, um, okay, a couple things with the totem. Now, I ran out of crazy glue, like I said, and I ended up using this glue, just regular Gorilla Glue, and it ended up working out a lot better. A little tip is when you're putting the cotton on the actual, um, on the actual cloud, drizzle the, the glue, like, over it, like, like, uh, like you drizzle syrup on your pancakes, okay? and then keep adding like the cotton. 
And then if you um, if you give it a second and let it dry before you keep on adding layers of cotton, that actually ends up working out better. Um, I think I got a nice even coat. I mean, for the most part, it came out it came out a lot better than I expected, but I did think it was gonna be a lot easier. This is my first time making this kind of totem pole, but you know, like I said, I made it in my head a thousand times. I don't know, it came out good. I mean, it's definitely awesome. I think whoever gets it is definitely gonna be happy. Um, for sure. Now it's time to go make the poll. Now I'm not gonna record myself making the poll. I wanna keep this DIY short, but I'm going to do a galaxy theme on the poll. And I will also be adding fairy lights to the poll. Um, so that it kind of looks like stars a little bit. Okay, so we got everything all done. I got... Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let's not break it. I got the cloud all done. Nice even coat all around. Um, once the glue dries, it makes the it makes the cotton a little bit easier to work with, so you can actually like fluff it out um, once the cotton dries. Um, I'm gonna be painting this black before I ship it to whoever I'm gonna ship it to. So we have that all set. You just have this. That's crazy. Anyway, um, and then I got the pole all done with fairy lights on it. It is a galaxy totem. I think I did a pretty good job on it. When I vended at festivals, I actually used to make totem poles. So, um, pretty good freaking, pretty good pole, pretty good pole. It's a straight thing, so like I'm trying to, yeah, that's a good, that's good. You get a perspective. It's pretty good, and then, so, pretty much. Here's how it is. The attachment goes right over the pole. Obviously that's gonna be like that. Where we at, where we at, where we at. And then like I said, it comes with the remote. It's got like a bunch of different like functions. That one's the coolest because it looks like thunderstorm. I'm five foot seven. This is probably a little over six feet. Why not? Hopefully this helped you out with making one of your own. Um, if you do decide to make one of your own and you run into trouble, feel free to hit me up on Instagram right there. You can always message me through YouTube. And I will actually be posting, um, I'll be, okay, so I'm gonna be posting the preview video to this and it's gonna have, um, it's not really gonna be a preview, but it's just gonna be the contest rules on how you can win this totem behind me, wherever you are in the country, I will ship it to you. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time on Smoothies and Doobies.